Hi guys, Mike here for a new tutorial. So today we show you how to do a fancy grid layout in Braidance. So we don't have a visual grid builder, at least not for the moment. And it doesn't mean we can't do uh, something fancy with a CSS grid. So what we are going to do is to use some other CSS grid generator like that one, or that one visual CSS grid builder that will give us all the CSS we need to make our own fancy grid. So I have set up um, a grid here with some uh, icon box. And what I want to do is to set up the number of columns. So let's say I want four columns here. In tablet, I want two. And on phone, I want one. OK, so we have our pretty basic grid that works as expected. And we want to make it a bit fancier. So let's use that uh, visual CSS grid builder. I set up the same number of columns. For the number of it doesn't matter much. And let's say I want the first one, second one like this, and third one like that, four, five, and so on. So we are going to change the third item. Here we can get the full CSS. We don't need the, all the CSS. We just need to change the third one. So let's copy that. We go back to our grid here and we select our third element. In the custom CSS, we just have to pass the same code. So as you can see, we have the same layout here, exactly as we wanted. So now if we check how responsive is it, it doesn't look great in tablet because we change, we have changed the number of colon. So we have to set up a new layout here. Let's with it here, put two columns, and let's say I want the first, second, and my third one like this. Okay, and I copy the code of the third one. Third one is still selected. I am in my uh, in the tablet breakpoints, and I pass it. And now we have the same layout as here. And for the last one, front portrait, as you can see the same, it's a bit messed up. We want to change and to have only one colon. So we select the third one still. OK. We can pass and just set it to auto. And that's it. Now we have our nice fancy custom grid just with some CSS. So with the CSS grid it's pretty easy because we can pick up the element we need. Now if we want to do the same with a gallery element, we can't select what image to change. So we have to do it a little bit differently but with the same code. So let's say I want the same, uh, same kind of uh, layout here. So I have uh, my grid and I want to have four colon here, interbet two back there and on mobile one. Okay. So let's set that first and check the front end. And we are going to use a class from the grid, from the gallery. So all the common class they have here, it's EE gallery item. So each image have this class. So we are going to use that one to pick up the image we want to change. So let's go back to, oh, okay, maybe I can copy the same code as here. OK, so or maybe we can build a, a different one. Let's build a different one instead. So I say I have four here. I want to have uh, the first one like that. And two, three, and the fourth one like this. OK, get the code. The first one is this here. And we select our gallery. Now we have to select 
the first image. Let's open it here. Okay, so here, gallery item, and we need the first one. So we have several ways to do that. Let's, let's use that one. Here we need to have the third, first one, and which one I want to change, and the, the fourth. Okay, so let's put that and the fourth. Okay, and I will copy the, uh, we'll copy the code from here. The third one is here. Let's pass that there, and the fourth is here. Okay. Here it is. We have the same layout as here. And in the same method, we can change here. So we put in, a, if we select the portrait mode, it's messed up because we have to change again for the first and the fourth. So let's reset that. Two. I want my first to be like that. And the fourth, the same. Let's say, okay. Okay, so before I copy, I go to select the full custom CSS, go to the portrait here, pass it, let's open it so it's a bit better, and we want to change the first one, okay, pass, and we want to change the fourth. Right. Okay, you see it's uh, super wide here. And in uh, mobile mode, the same, we have to change it too. Let's copy the full things. And in mobile mode, because we only want one, we can just set it to auto. And the same here. And it is. Okay, it's there. Okay, we have our custom fancy grid layout. So with the with the gallery element and with the grid element. And for the the, the post loop and post list element is very similar. So I have one here. The only difference is we have to change the class. I think I already set up uh, two And okay, so let's go to check the. And I'm going to copy the same here. For the same uh, layout, okay. So first, let's check the class. So here we have the class EE post for each element of the grid. So we can use exactly the same method as a gallery. We select our post list, we go back. We go there, I pass the same except it's called EE post and the same here, EE post. And here it is, a very nice layout. Let's copy, do the same here. I copy and where is it? There, I turn that here. Post, post, and finally set it to auto, auto, and auto. Okay, so now we have something that looks pretty cool just with some few lines of CSS and the help of some other visual grid builder. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next time, guys.